Hi, how's it? What's up in the name of Jesus? So mm-hmm. please go check out the previous part to figure out what's going on here. Uh, I did an introduction that was rather lengthy, but it's only so I could get to a point where I'm like not so lengthy. So what's up? I'm telling you guys about my rapture dream. I'm also letting you guys know that rarely ever do I get rapture dreams. In fact, I don't get them. Not 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 the rapture as in like next thing you'd be hearing a trumpet, next thing people be getting caught up in the sky or people shooting up or laser beams or whatever, you know? Nah. I've I've have had dreams of suddenly landing in heaven and I had my cat, believe it or not, my cat was with me. I think cats are gonna go with us or our pets, I don't know, whatever. I've also had a dream of seeing a big fat giant grape in heaven in a bowl of fruit at the banquet log table. I've also had dreams of the tribulation of the millennium, millennial rain, stuff like that being shown me. But you know, these, these dreams where people like tell you, next thing everybody started shooting up and they disappeared and I was left behind. Or next thing everybody was shooting and next thing I shot up in the sky, next thing I was in the class. Like, no, I've never had any such dream. Um, and I haven't, yes, I have sort of kind of asked God for one, but then I was like, ah, but you, that's how you work with me. God, you, I ask for stuff and you like, don't give it to me until the time, until you see it fit to do so. So I don't even ask for rapture dreams. I'm just like, ah, I don't know. Like literally, I'm just like, whatever happens, let it happen. Because I am so bombarded with so many other dreams, so many other things that God is uttering that I'm like, maybe he just feels as if though this is the message I have to give and he will make me say that message. And like, let's leave it at that. Uh, Garabo, the rapture dreams, I have given them to Peter, John, Petros and Rene Lue. But you, you are going to just get these kinds of dreams. So I just kind of accepted that, you know, God is just not giving me rapture dreams. I would love to get them. Like, I want to know what it's like. I want to get hard parts out in a dream. Um... So when I was coming back from the mall, all grumbly because I'm very sad all the time. And I was like looking around at the world and I was like, am I ever going to be okay? How is this world even feasible? How am I going to be having babies and stuff in this wretched constitution, in this gangster joint? It's an elephant in the room. The whole earth is an elephant in the room. Everybody's trying to act like ain't nothing there, but it's there. Okay. So I, I just was like, whatever. And the same night I had this particular dream. So I'm just going to go hop right into it. And then I'm going to give the details. I'm not going to insist for crying out loud um, in doing it in just five seconds or whatever because the details I think are important so that I don't know I just feel like let me just put it online so when things start to shape up in this fashion I will know that God showed me this and you guys will believe because that's the thing about having the gift of prophecy or being somewhat of a seer type establishment thing sometimes you're scared to speak you know what I'm saying like just kind of vocalize your mind about what the Lord has shown you lest you should be deemed a false seer or whatever or lest things don't come to pass the way that you were shown um, you have like a Jonah complex where because you are fretful that your prophecy is not going to come to pass you then don't want to go to preach to Nineveh. Nineveh you know what I mean so I just was like ah, let me just speak and the reason why I've decided to speak now like as of now before even sleeping because uh, yeah I'm only about to sleep now only I was up all night praying um the reason I have decided to share it is because I uh, realized that a lot of the dreams I got, I get, I have seen them come to pass in waking life in a most eerie fashion. And I just, I've stopped underestimating the eerie nature of the, uh, fru- the, the, the fruitioning of these things. Because if at all you speak it and it happens, then you're obviously sent by God. And there is something going on in the spiritual space that manifests manifest ultimately in the physical realm and credibility comes to a person uh, upon them them speaking when what it is that they've spoken eventually happens so there are so many people on the internet that are busy saying that God showed me the rapture is happening on the 27th of October and like that's it okay the Lord showed me it's gonna happen when a bird lands on this particular pole of electricity and when it starts to get choked up that's the rapture people rock up and say stuff like that and you literally wait for this bird to land on the electric pole and like nothing happens the day comes the day goes and i'm like guys is god talking to you or is the devil dumping information into your constitution 
and you are not discerning. I'm not so foolish as to write them off as unbelievers or false prophets, but as a person that sees a lot, that gets given a lot of prophecy by God, and that gets given a lot of understanding in the spiritual realm through my spiritual gifting, I know that the devil dumps a lot of rubbish into my... Like, he uses my gift. He takes my gift and is like, she's a seer. We are born alone. So let me show her something so she can go and prophesy it and it won't come to pass. So I have begged the Lord for the spirit of discernment. I have literally sought his face to give me that gift over and above the gift of seeing so that I can know when to share something. Um, so I can know when it's from him. Uh, so I don't ultimately make like a lot of my brothers and sisters um, are all over the world who have, I believe, been getting downloaded into their understanding information from Satan and they are just sharing it um, indiscriminately on social media on some god showed me god showed me but it's like if it didn't come to pass i'm not saying that it's not from god i'm just saying that the devil muddied your understanding so you need to be a lot more acute in listening to what christ is saying and also kind of know what to share or kind of i don't know like of course the devil wants to muddy rapture witness and testimonies in the sense that people who keep on getting these left behind dreams or these rapture dreams and these people who keep on getting given dates and what have you he wants everybody that's watching them to be discouraged to throw in the towel move on and likely kick a can on the floor um because okwa dile and then be like jesus whatever he didn't come even though he told sister a b and brother pq that it's gonna happen on the 26th of march or whatever um it's dangerous you know what i'm saying yeah so it can cause people to be very very discouraged and personally i have found myself getting flattened like a fishy just outside of the ocean that is struggling to breathe and it's flapping by watching with watch men and women on Line, um these rapture high watch dates and i've watched them come and go and i've just fainted so much um every time they've gone especially considering i'm presently persecuted i am presently persecuted so for me the rapture is literally a matter of life uh, of life and death whereas with a lot of people they can still go on to their normal lives i don't have a normal life and so i don't have the luxury to hold on to nothing but the rapture because if i hold on to that another 10 years could progress and they will have taken away all my life i will not have lived i will have been stolen and from severely i will not have had a husband children a normal life like i'm trying to get my life back together so hoping in nothing but the rapture is dangerous for me uh because I, I could find myself just literally waiting to be rescued out of my persecution by the rapture and if it doesn't happen in the next like year month two three months i'm in a lot of danger do you understand what i'm saying so for the purposes or the sake of my persecuted state i gotta i gotta strive and push grind for some other future that i could still potentially live here on earth before i either die or get taken in the rapture 20 years from today 30 years from today i need to try and find my life again so i really really don't want to hold on to nothing but that especially considering i don't have a normal life so it is exorbitantly discouraging to me to wait around high watch dates as i am following brothers and sisters across the world and for those days to come and go because for me like i said the rapture could actually be a matter of life and death because i'm presently being killed like fecklessly everybody's just ignoring that i'm suffering and if if i don't find some other avenue of escape other than the rapture i'm gonna be in quite a lot of hot water so god knows that way i'm thinking uh and so then he gave me a rapture dream that was exquisitely detailed in a way that i just can't ignore like the details are flapping in my face they are flailing uh it's like they've got pom-poms the details they, they there was just so many details that he saw it fit to give me in this dream that i was like okay <laughs> all right and, but i i've held on and sat on it for three days but now i'm talking Let's move on to the next part.